Wars have always been an issue, whether they are nuclear or tech wars. When it comes to tech wars, the biggest tech chip rivals are China and United States. They both are the superpowers and want to dominate over the world. It is causing disruption in the economy of the world. In this video, we are going to tell you about the tech war between United States and China. The U.S.-China chip war refers to the ongoing trade tensions between the United States and China. This trade conflict is about semiconductor chips, which are essential for any computer or electronic device. The U.S.-China chip war has been going on for decades, and it is likely to continue for the foreseeable future. Welcome to Technology Data and please subscribe to our channel which would be the encouragement to create more videos for you. The U.S.-China chip war started in 1980 when China adopted a policy of self-reliance in semiconductors. By the 1990s, China had become a major player in international semiconductor markets, with companies like Huawei and Lenovo producing their own semiconductors. In 2018, President Trump imposed tariffs on $200 billion worth of Chinese goods as retaliation against what he called unfair trading practices by Beijing, for example, forced technology transfer. Both sides are now at odds over intellectual property rights and national security concerns. This has led to an escalation of tariffs on both sides of the Pacific Ocean, with no end in sight. The tech industry is currently experiencing a war between the United States and China. The U.S. has been in the lead for many years, but now China is catching up. Chinese chip makers are making waves in the industry by producing chips that are cheaper and more efficient than those of their American counterparts. The U.S. government has been pushing for policies to force companies to use only American-made chips, but this effort has had little success so far. This section will explore the reasons behind this war and what it means for both countries. The United States has been the global leader in the tech industry since it started. It was in this time period that Silicon Valley became a hub of innovation, as many companies were sprouting there. However, China is now catching up to this point and has used its low-cost manufacturing capability to make significant strides in the tech industry. The most important chip maker for China is called Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Co which produces chips for both IBM and Intel, among other American companies. Here, the main question arises, what is the economic impact of U.S.-China trade war? The U.S.-China trade war has been a major issue in the global economy for the past few months. The trade war is mainly about the U.S. tariffs on China's exports to the U.S. This has led to a decrease in demand for China's exports and an increase in the price of imports to China. The trade war has had an impact on both countries, but it is not clear how long it will last or what its economic consequences will be. Trade wars are not good news for any country, as they lead to countries imposing tariffs on each other, which leads to a decrease in demand and an increase in prices of imports. This is why many economists are worried about how this trade war will affect both countries and what its economic consequences will be. Trade wars are not good news for any country, as they lead to countries imposing tariffs on each other, which leads to a decrease in demand and an increase in prices of imports. This is why many economists are worried about how this trade war will affect both countries and what its economic consequences will be. The U.S.-China trade war is not only affecting the economy, but also has major implications for the security of both countries. The trade war has caused a decrease in the exports of Chinese tech companies. This is because many of their products are made with components that are sourced from the U.S. As a result, China will have to find alternate suppliers for these components, which could potentially lead to an increase in cyber attacks. The U.S.-China trade war is not only affecting the economy, but also has major implications for the security of both countries. The trade war has caused a decrease in the exports of Chinese tech companies. This is because many of their products are made with components that are sourced from the U.S. As a result, China will have to find alternate suppliers for these components, which could potentially lead to an increase in cyber attacks. So what are the solutions for ending the U.S. and China tech war conflict? The U.S. and China tech war is not a new phenomenon. It has been going on for more than a decade. 
The two countries are now at a point where they are competing with each other in the areas of AI, 5G, semiconductors, and self-driving cars. There is no easy solution to end this conflict between the two countries. However, there are some possible solutions that can help ease this tension and stop it from escalating further. One of them is to make sure that both countries understand the importance of cooperation and innovation rather than competition. Secondly, China should stop using its technology as leverage against the U.S. And finally, both countries should be more transparent about their technological developments and collaborate on important projects like AI research for betterment of humanity as a whole. Technology has become a means for the U.S. to project economic and political power around the globe in an attempt to position itself as a leader in innovation. China, however, has been able to use its technological advancements as leverage against the U.S. For example, they have been able to secure massive contracts with countries that are heavily reliant on Chinese goods because of their cut-price products with technological advances like AI, artificial intelligence. As long as China continues using its technology this way against the U.S., it will be difficult for America to lead in innovation. The U.S. relies on cheap labor from China to maintain its standard of living because we are a capitalist society. If China lowers the cost of labor by allowing more immigrants into the country, then Americans will have to raise their wages and work more hours before they can afford anything. This is just one example of how technology is helping China undermine the U.S.'s supremacy in innovation and dominance on the global stage. This was all about today's video. Stay in touch with us for further updates about the war and crisis caused by wars between superpowers. Make sure to share your suggestions in comment section and share our video with all your friends. Do subscribe our channel for more informative stuff like this.